these last few crystals where I want them. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm back again to do another tarot reading. Um, it's been a while since I made a video. Well, about a week. It's been about a week since I made a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of that done. I'll probably just do like a general card reading for this upcoming week. That's probably what I'll do. Um, but yeah, so things have been the same. <laughs> Still working, going to school, mommying, um, you know, all the above. And just trying to get my life together. Exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to get my life together. Um, so as y'all know, we just had a full moon on the 3rd, October 3rd, I think it was. Um, you know, I also do photography, so I'll have to show you the picture that I took for the full moon. Um, it turned out pretty decent. Like I said, I'm still a beginner photographer, and I just do this as a hobby. So there's that. But why did you throw that down there? Go get this little girl. Okay, so the first card I want to do is, or the first deck, I should say. First deck that I want to get a message from are the I Am Everything deck from Tamisha Clark. I think I can't find the case, or the, the box for it, so I don't know what it says. I think it says Tamisha Clark. I hope that's the name that came to me. Um, I'll probably drop her link down in uh, the description area also. Just so that if... Because they're... I mean, they're good. They are, like, so positive. But anyways, that's what we're going to use to start the, uh, the week off. See what kind of message we can get from this deck. Mm. All right, then. Two right away. Okay, so first two. I am passionate. I know this is backwards and my table keeps shaking. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, so first one says, I am passionate. I put my entire heart into the people and things I believe in. My passion is a powerful so uh, force. I'm sorry. It is an eternal fuel. I recognize the strength of my passion and therefore I am careful where I choose to focus it. I am passionate. And then the second card that popped out is I am love. Um, it says, I may not have always made the right choices, but I did my best. I have so much love to give and everyone around me can feel it. I am given a clean slate every single day to be the best version of me that I can be. I am forgiven. I am loved. Great messages to start off this week. All right. So, since we just had a full moon, I'm going to start with my moonology. Get, hopefully, a positive message from this deck. Hopefully. Let me see if I... I'm trying to keep the table from shaking. I'm sorry, y'all. I feel like, hey, Michelle, I'm shaking the table, you know? Um, when she was talking to whoever it was. Okay, we'll turn on Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. That's my baby. That was Landon. All right, so please give me a message from this deck. Let's see if I can get hopefully a positive. Messages for me from this deck. Oh, that looked like a lump sound, but we'll see. The first card that came out is Hold Your Vision and Fixed Moon. Okay, baby, I'm recording. Hang on. Okay. Cambry. 
They wait, I swear, they wait until I start recording to make noise. Okay, so the first one was hold your vision. Second one, oh, there's like four cards that popped out. Bring love into the situation. I don't know if y'all can see that. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. A new start is coming. That's always, always promising. That's just simply a new moon. And confidence is the key to success. Are you okay? Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. So I feel like what this is saying is that as long as I focus on my goals, my goals and dreams, your goals and dreams, whoever is watching, as long as you focus on your goals and your dreams and you hold your vision of what it is that you actually want, um, and you also bring love into the situation, whether, you know, whether that's, I might have to re-record this. I'm so sorry, y'all. Um, Cambry, why are you being loud? Okay, bring love into the situation, whether that is like internal love, like more self-love for yourself um, so that you're not so hard on yourself or, you know, love for others, love for your kids, love for your family, love for your job or softening up to or a person softening up to you. Say, like, you may have an issue with somebody at your job. If you bring love into the situation, sweeten them up a little. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, that may be beneficial for your, um, for you in order to reach your goals. Um, okay, so I did also get It's Time to Take Action, New Moon and Aries. And basically... Hold your vision, bring love into the situation, um, and then make your move. As simple as that. Um, you know, a goal without action is just a dream. So if you want to make your goal a reality, then it's time to take action. It's time to put forth some effort and, you know, do what it takes in order to make that goal a reality for yourself. All right, sorry about that, guys. Guys, gals, everything in between. Because I love you all. Um, what was on? Oh, a new start. A new start is coming. New moon. Um, to me, this is always, always, like, positive. A positive message. This is always a positive message. Here, mama. <laughs> um, I feel like, you know, it could be like a sort of rebirth and I don't know. I just, I, I've always looked at, you know, a new beginning, a new start, the fool's card, uh, the death card in tarot. Like I've always looked at those as like a positive thing. Like, you know, you may not be happy with where you are right now or what you're doing right now, but Hold tight, hold fast, hold that vision, and your new start is coming. You'll get exactly what it is that you, you're wanting. Your new start is coming. Um, and then the last card from Moonology that came out was New Moon in Leo. Confidence is your key to success. Confidence is also you manifesting what it is that you want. So I feel like, you know, if you put out into the universe what it is that you want and then you actually take action, then, you know, your new start that's coming is going to be a positive one. You know, you put in the work, you hold your vision, you know, you manifest what it is that you want and your your new start is coming. It's going to be a positive one. <laughs> and, and just you having the confidence is going to boost your self-esteem, your probably self-worth. Oh my gosh, she wants me to pick her up. Um, but yeah, so that's what I got from Moonology.
All right, so I'm gonna move these out the way very quick, like. I mean, I'm gonna keep my pals. I'm not gonna put them back, you know, exactly where they go. Um, and then I want, I feel like I want to use my Light Sears tarot deck, even though I feel like they are way too big for my hands. But it's been a while since I used them. Uh, my daily ones are usually the uh, Radiant Rider Weight tarot deck and then the just the regular Rider Weight tarot deck. They're not so thick, so they're easier to, uh, to shuffle. See, like that right there. Mm -hmm. Can you shuffle it? Look at that. Oh, yeah. So, I feel like, you know, this week is all about going after what it is that you want. Pretty much. Holding steadfast to that vision. Doing what it takes. Taking the necessary action. Uh as it calls to, you know, to make that, that uh, dream or that goal a reality for yourself. So that's something positive for all of us. All right. So please get on the message for this week. Message for this week. All right. Thank you. Got a lot. I got a lot. All right, so the first one, two cups. So this is focusing on your emotional state, your emotions, uh, two of cups. And by this depiction, maybe, you know, you're gonna have a companion. Um, it may not necessarily be like a romantic person, but you know, a companion, a friendship, or something that's very strong that's going to put you in good spirits for this upcoming week. Um, we also have the Ace of Pentacles, and Ace of Pentacles is pretty much just like offering a chance at material possession success so that could that could be like financial success or um it's not it, it's nothing like mental um it's more so materialistic stuff so this is uh this could be read as you may receive an offer for something materialistic so that may be an offer of money that may be an offer for new employment that may be an offer for a reliable babysitter, a reliable vehicle, you know, it, that could be anything. So that's good. We also have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Um, swords, that's like your mental state. Um, and this is the Knight of Swords that is chasing after his motorcycle that has gotten away. So I feel like Spirit is telling me that... Um, you're probably going to be tested mentally. Um, and so you'll always be trying to chase after the chase after that normal state of mental stability. Well, for this week, because like I said, this is for this week. So I feel like you're going to be chasing for mental stability um, just because he's simply chasing after that. Um, now, if I were... I didn't pull it. But if I had, like, the Queen of Swords or the King of Swords, then, yeah, that positive, positively, absolutely, like, your mental state is, is just fine or whatever. But I feel like you are wanting a, you're wanting a uh, certain level of mental stability, and right now you're not getting it. Um, so you're constantly chasing after what it is that you want. So I feel like that's what the Knight of Swords is telling me. And then the sun. Honestly, the sun looks like a giant celebration. <laughs> I mean, do you see how she's happy and just flourishing in the sunlight? She looks like everything that she has manifested has come to light. <laughs> um, you know, 
So I feel like this is whatever you were chasing. Maybe maybe that mental stability that you were chasing in um, the previous card in the Knight of Swords. Maybe you're going to achieve that mental stability. You're going to catch it, you know, since he was chasing after the motorcycle. Maybe you're going to catch it and, you know, everything that you manifested is going to um, come to surface. And then, let's see, I have the Two of Pentacles that, that fell next. Two of Pentacles is basically learning how to balance material things and non-material things, like your mental health, your emotions, um, your love for others, for self. So, in the midst of this, in the midst of, of um, chasing after your mental stability please don't forget about balancing everything that you're juggling right now and then the last card that fell is the four of wands well i tell you another celebration this week is all about celebrating this week is about you know doing what is required of you i hate my hair like that but what is required of you um in order to attain your goals once you, you know, go through this week, do everything that is required of you, that's necessary, you're going to get your happy ending. You are going to get your uh, your four of wands, your celebration. You see, this is two girls celebrating. So that companion that you had in the first card in the two of cups, she's right there with you. Or he's right there with you. They are celebrating with you. They want what's best for you. So, uh, that was good. Oh, I love this message. I really do. I really do. All right. Um, let's see. Was there anything that I needed to clarify in here? Uh -oh. I did want to just clarify the sun. I want to make sure I read the sun correctly. So I'm going to use my goddess dream oracle to hopefully <laughs> be able to clarify this message which i'm pretty sure that's what it was um i feel like that's what spirit that's what god was telling me that this card meant um but we'll see and if y'all have any suggestions for some new oracle cards please let me know like i'm always i'm always looking for something else you know all right, so can you please clarify the sun card? Can you please clarify the sun card, Spirit? What was that noise? Huh? Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, nothing is falling. Apparently, I did read it correctly. And that was a whole stack that fell. Ugh. Whole stack that fell. So, I swear, my kids, they will start trying to talk to me until I start recording. It never fails. And I know I look like I'm bouncing. Let me try to stabilize this table. It's not even in here. That's what it is. The floor is like not even. And actually, I think I can adjust the legs on this table. I just got to get down there and try. And I've been trying to clean up all weekend, sort through two little clothes for the kids and, you know, give them away. But it's just entirely too much stuff in here. All right. So please clarify the sun. All right, so these two fell. Oh, these three, my bad. All right, put this over here. So for the sun, abundance fell. Abundance, opportunity, and inspiration. Abundance, count your blessings. And I feel like that's what she's doing in here. She's counting her blessings. She's thankful for everything that she has received. She has manifested. She has... Um, you know, put out into the universe and welcomed it back tenfold with open arms. Um, so I feel like that 
is absolutely what she's doing. Second one that fell is inspiration, and it says begin now. She's beginning to, since you know, she's had so much success with her manifestations and her her own individual journey. She may be an inspiration to others that may be looking up to her, and she may not even, you know, she or he, you may not even know it. I should say you. Um, you may not even know it. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's, that resonates. And then opportunity, expand your horizons. So I feel like once she reaches this level, or once you reach this level, oh my goodness, why do I keep saying that? Once you reach this level where, you know, you have started receiving your blessings, your manifestations, all of your hard work is paying off. I feel like new opportunities will open up in your favor, um, you know, whether that's job promotion or um, new love, you know, it could, it could pretty much be anything. But so, yeah, I feel like I'm sorry. I feel like that's what that's saying. It all resonates. It's going to be a positive week. Positive week. All right, and I guess I should do one closing message. Which deck do I want to use, though? Because <laughs> both of these are my favorite. But I guess I will go ahead and use my radiant rider wing. Guess I will. Let's divide that. Yeah, one closing message. If I can shuffle, y'all, I swear, I have the hardest time shuffling these cards. And to tell you the truth, my oldest son, he's always like, Mommy, how do you do that? How do you shuffle like that? And I'm like, baby, I didn't learn how to do this until I was grown. Like, the cards were always too big for my hands. And so he'll get the cards. Well, he'll, he'll get the Uno cards because I don't let them play with, you know, my stuff. But he'll get the Uno cards and he'll try to do it. And he's like, Mommy, I can't do it. And I'm just like, keep trying, baby. Or you may just have to wait like I did. Wait till your hands, wait till you grow up a little bit older. <laughs> yeah, your hands will grow. All right. So can I please get a closing message? Closing message. Go. All right, so I got the Justice card. I got the Three of Wands. And I got the Hanged Man. So, I feel like this is telling me that maybe in the past someone or your job or something has done you wrong well justice is coming justice is coming once that justice does come the three of wands shows up you're gonna look back over look back at everything everything that has happened that has caused you to have to go through you know whatever it, it was that you went through in order to get justice but it's gonna cause you to look back to reminisce to see just how far you've come and after you do that, we have the hanged man. Now, actually, the hanged man was uh, upright. No, I'm sorry. This is upside down. Okay, it was upside down, but, you know, upright. Like, the guy was upright whenever it came out. But um, I feel like this is a new idea. Like, you see, if he is this way, it kind of looks like like a light bulb like you have a brand new idea a new creative spark um that or a new journey you know that you may be embarking on um maybe you decided to if it was a job maybe you decided to leave that job 
after you know you got your justice just because you didn't feel like you were wanted there anymore you decided to reminisce on the good times the bad times and all in between and you have a bright new idea a bright new journey a bright new job that you know may be coming soon um, but regardless of which way it was you see these vines those vines represent uh, moving on and growth that's what that represents so regardless of what it is that you do you're gonna grow from the situation that occurred the situation that you got justice for you then reminisced about thought on you know thought long and hard on what it was that you want to do and bing, you have a brand new idea um, you're gonna grow from it you're gonna move on and you know you're gonna live your life you're gonna end up happy um, so I feel like that's what these cards are telling me I really hope that they resonated um, the message resonated with most of you <laughs> I do understand that not every single message is gonna resonate with every single person bless you baby bless you um, so yeah I do I do understand that but um, yeah, I hope this was able to help you out. Um, I'll try to record some more videos um, that are not tarot. <laughs> I just gotta, I gotta sit down. I've got so much to do right now. Like as soon as I finish this, I've got schoolwork I've got to do <laughs> that is due today. Um, but yeah, I've just got so much to do. But I, I'm still working on my own website. Um, like I said, I do have an Etsy shop, and um, I haven't really added any of the new ideas that I, or the any of the new items that I have that I'm creating, just because I wanted to premiere those on my actual website. So I'm still working on that. Once I I get you know all of that taken care of, that incense is like blowing directly in my face. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, as soon as I get the website up and running, I will let you guys know. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And, um, yeah, so share this video. Like this video. Comment. Comment. I'm sorry. Subscribe and hit the bell so that you get each and every notification when I decide to post a new video. Um, any suggestions or any, you know, any comments, I'm welcome. I'm open to, to everything. Um, just let me know. And y'all take care. Bye.